Another hot button issue at the Capitol has to do with vacation rentals like Airbnb or Verbo that a lot of us here use in Colorado. A bill to increase property taxes on those rentals is now expected to be dramatically scaled back after intense opposition saying it would hurt mountain towns. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon is going in depth. Every short term rental comes with a story. The personality of Summit County and the personality of Colorado is enhanced by little mom and pop homes. This home just outside of downtown Breckenridge was built by Beth and Rich Mason. It was about 5,000 hours, four and a half years. The two are worried about Senate Bill 33. It keeps me up at night. In its current state, the bill would classify any short-term rental lease for more than 90 days a year as a lodging property, increasing their taxes. It could be 360. It, it, it doesn't matter because Right from the get-go, it doesn't make any sense. State Senator Chris Hansen is sponsoring the bill. As far as tax fairness goes, if you're renting it like a hotel room, you should be treated just like a hotel or bed and breakfast room. He's considering with an amendment, changing the threshold from 90 days a year to 200 days a year to qualify as a lodging property. 98% of those 80,000 units that are short-term rented in Colorado would not have been affected by this bill. He's using past tense because this week he plans to amend the bill significantly. We're gonna move forward with an amendment that will essentially study the economic and service impact of short-term rentals across the state. He believes the study will show a mismatch in services like calls for first responders that are needed by certain properties and the taxes paid to cover those costs. Our kids in Denver are basically having to reduce the amount of money in their public school classrooms to send more backfill because these properties are being misclassified. And that's the part that I was really trying to fix. The Masons say pinning the problem on the cost of services is a stretch. To me, it's just how do we get more tax money? <laughs> Unfortunately. And they believe any form of this bill, no matter the changes, will hurt everyone in their shoes, along with anyone planning a trip to Colorado. Without short-term rentals, there'd be very limited places for guests to stay. Things are going too far, especially at the state level. The bill is scheduled to go before the Senate Finance Committee this week. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7.